Hi, let us learn how to create this stylish roadmap in PowerPoint quite easily. There are a number of useful little tricks that you will pick up along the way. So watch till the end. Let us jump right in. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From rectangles, let us pick up the second one called as Rectangle Rounded Corners and then draw an approximate rectangular bar with rounded corners like this. Press Ctrl D, rotate, rotate right 90 degrees and select this and ensure that the top left corner and the top edge are properly aligned. Then press Ctrl D again and make sure that the top right corner is properly aligned. Then select this piece, press Ctrl D and keep it to one side. We will need this a little later. Then I'm going to select all three of them. Go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes and say Shape Union. Let me keep this a little bit down. Now select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then arrange it like the way that I'm showing you now that this middle one is properly aligned. Then press Ctrl D again, again, again. So as many copies as you want can be made here. Then I'm going to select the second one. Go to rotate and say flip vertical. Do the same thing for the fourth one and flip vertical. Now we have got our bends in place. Then select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and bring this down and ensure that the bottom right corner is aligned and bring this to front and then make sure that the bottom left corner is properly aligned. Now everything looks perfectly fine. Select everything, go to merge shapes and say shape union. Now we have got our basic roadmap ready. You can go to align center. So it is placed right in the center. Then right click, go to format shape. Then go to effects option. Go to 3D rotation. In presets, click on the drop down menu. Go to perspective and choose this one called as Perspective Relaxed. You can decide the Y rotation. If you want to have it a little more flat, you can always go for this option here called Down and that will be flatter. It is completely your personal preference. Now I like this. Then let me go to 3D Format, go to Top Bevel and choose a top bevel. You can choose any style that you want. This looks perfectly fine and the one that I chose is this one called as Angle. Then. Let us go to colors and use shape fill as maybe dark gray color and then shape outline as black color and you can give a depth of around 15 and that looks good. Maybe if you want it even thinner, 10 is perfect. Now we have got our beautiful roadmap ready. You can always make it look a bit shinier if you want. Go to material and go to special effect and then go to lighting and then change the angle of lighting like this the second one called balance or you can always go to the third one it is completely up to you i like this third one called as soft let us move this slightly down and then let us add the silhouette of the city landscape so let me go to my favorite place pixabay.com you search for city silhouette in vectors I will also leave a link to this in the description box below the video so you can download just this image. Then go to download, go to vector graphic and you say download. And once it is done, you will be able to find that in your recent downloads. Go to the folder, copy the image, come back here and paste it. Then right click, go to convert to shape. Now this is nothing but a simple shape that you can manipulate the way you want. Let me make sure that the width is proper. So the width of this image and the slide width are properly aligned. Then right click, send this to back. Now this doesn't look very interesting. So I'm going to give this a kind of fog effect. So let me go to gradient fill. In gradient fill, go to this third option called as medium gradient accent one. And this is a linear gradient. Now I don't really want the second stop so I'm going to move this out and let me go to the first stop, make it white and then make sure that the transparency is 100%. Then go to the last stop and ensure that it is as dark as possible and then move this inside and you can adjust the distance to which you want the silhouette to show and the rest of it looks like there is fog here. Beautiful. 
Then let us add a nice background. So right click on the empty area, go to format background and here again I'm going to choose gradient fill. And let me choose the default option here, the second one and say medium gradient accent one. Now that looks good. Let us go to the first stop and make this completely transparent by increasing the transparency to 100%. Now that looks quite stylish, isn't it? Let us go to the text. So let us make it a little more visible. So I'm going to choose white color font. Then maybe I can move this a little down so there is a little more space for us to write our text. The next step is to create the pin. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Basic Shapes, let us go to this Teardrop tool. Click on it. Hold the shift button down and draw a teardrop. Then right click, go to size and position, go to rotation and say 135 degrees. So the pointy end is facing straight down. Then let us create a duplicate and then edit shape and make this into a simple oval. Then place this right on top of the previous one. Then hold control shift and then click and drag from the corner so you can resize this. So we have the center one beautifully shown. Go to shape fill, white color, go to shape effects, go to shadow and say inner shadow. And this outer one needs to be in red color. So we provide a nice contrast to the rest of the color palette. Select both of them and go to shape outline and say no outline. Then let us go to text box and add a simple number here and I'm going to choose a thicker font called Tucson MT Condensed Extra Bold. Make it as thick as possible and then keep it in the center. Now that looks good. Select everything, press Ctrl G to group it and we are going to place this over here. If you feel that this is a little too big, you can always hold the shift button and click and drag from the corner and adjust the size and make sure that the positioning of the number is proper. Now this looks beautiful. If you want, you can place this to one corner of the roadmap like this and then add the label. You can replace this sample text and then let us increase the font size to 20 and then let us fold this a little bit and place it right next to the previous one. That looks good. Let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate, place this over here and change the number to 2 and move this label and make sure that this is properly aligned to the center and then place it right below the number two and then select this and this hold the control button as you click and drag and we have got our next signpost and then we will have this and this selected and then move it over here that looks good and change this to four make sure that everything is properly aligned for example this 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 can be selected and we can have it as align middle and this this can be align center this this can be align center so make sure that those basic requirements are taken care of you can always add some shadow to these pins so select this and then go to shape effects go to shadow and go to perspective and use this one so it gives a nice three-dimensional look and feel the last step is to add the necessary animation let us close this, go to animations, go to animation pane, select this, hold the shift button down, select this, this and this and then all of them float in from top and the duration is going to be for 0.5 seconds and it all happens with a click. So all these happen on click and right at the same time we are going to have these ones fade in. So let us choose fade and this happens with previous and then move the relevant text boxes next to the previous animation. Now when I go to slideshow, this is how the graphic looks. On a click, I have the first point shown, the second point, third point and the fourth point. Isn't this nice? If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have created for you called how to create 3D roadmap. Here I've used lines to create this curved roadmap and you'll really be fascinated by this simple but effective technique to create curved roadmaps. This video is already popular with more than 480,000 views. All you need to do to watch this video is to click on the link that you see right now on your screen, watch the video and learn another powerful technique that can make you better with PowerPoint. I'll see you inside that video.